Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome in Berlin. This is another video where I take you through Berlin to a very special place. Period. That's hört sich aber nicht gut an. You should oil your wheels. So today we are at the Disgusting Food Museum. That is literally the name. So we're gonna see what exactly expects us in there. <gasps> What did she do? A bro. And I'm just wondering how much will I be able to try? How much is just there for display? How much? Period. Anyway, I think I'm babbling for too long. I think we should get in. Let's go, my two camera people. <laughs> Bam means <laughs> ill, worse. In English, uh, in German. This is Amira. She just gave us our barf bags. So these are your entrance bags, in case you don't feel well. Did that actually happen before? That somebody um, threw from up? From time to time, yeah. The last time was like six, seven days ago. So we're just gonna go through, and then here's exactly. like the last tasting where we can the, eat stuff. Then we will see each other at the bar again. Okay. Meet you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, this is editing Naomi with leftover liner and a red face. Before we start the museum tour, I just want to mention that I will read about animal cruelty in this tour. I try to cut out everything graphic, like it will not be shown, but I will talk about it. So if you're sensitive to all of that, this is your warning. I think it's basically like a little tour where we can look at it and then sometimes we can smell it and at the end we can taste it. Huh, they actually have root beer here as disgusting food. It's made from this ermagur. What is that? Root? We have eyeball soup. Oh. Eyeball juice. Oh. <gasps> ja echt. Ich dachte, fake. Naomi, why do you touch? Oh, it says, oh please do not God. touch. <laughs> I'm gonna use my barf bag. It smells like expired milk. I think this is literally just expired. It's tomato juice. Turkey. Shalgam suyu. This actually sounds good. It tastes a little sour, salty, and a little like paprika. Oh, it's from Germany. Ostrich eggnog. Ostrich, ostrich. <laughs> Do not touch. Doesn't say. <laughs> Look, guys, we actually have foie gras. Gras? Gras? From France. Like on TV, it's shown how it's made, but it's like very like graphic. Maybe you just want to research that yourself, but I'm going to explain to you what it is because it's actually really horrible. This is the liver of geese or ducks and the ducks and the geese are like being force fed this stuff that like their liver like really like expands and it's like really, really cruel and inhumane. And that's why it's also banned in a lot of countries. I think it's even banned in Germany. The corn is boiled with fat, which makes the bird's liver swell to many times its original size. Vincent is traumatized. Yeah. So right here, we are at the altar of stinky cheese. I bet it smells like chili's bottom. <laughs> we can now smell the stinkiest cheese in the whole wild world. Why I don't feel like the light in here is like very horrible for me. Just get me with the stinky cheese. The stinky with the stinky. <laughs> We're gonna start with the Epoisse from France. Epoisse. No. <laughs> <laughs> I I can speak French. Nice. Honestly, it's good. It just smells very aromatic. It's nice. Cheese section. Joanna! <laughs> yes, drama. <laughs> Roquefort? That's doch auch gar nicht so schlimm. Nice, really good. I don't know what the problem is. I mean, I wouldn't eat it. It's like too strong for me, but it smells just very aromatic and strong. Mm. <laughs> Let's try the Vieux Boulogne. Boulogne. Okay, this one is unpleasant. It just smells like stinky plastic. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> Let's try the stinking bishop. Ooh, I like that name. Britain's smelliest cheese. Okay, that's kind of gross. That's kind of gross. Yeah, what does it smell like? Like a rugby club changing room. You didn't even smell it. Don't let her smell it. <laughs> I'm actually also getting a little sick right now. Yes. The last one is the gemlewolle from Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> The cheese is often eaten without touching it as the smell is infamously difficult to remove from one's fingers. <laughs> Sounds like sustroming. Okay, I'm gonna smell it. Yeah, it's not good, but the rugby team was worse. The stinking bishop, that was a stinky little bitch. Yeah, okay, you're a winner, baby. Okay, thank you, guys. That was not so good. <laughs> this 
It's so gross, guys. <gasps> the special table that locked the monkey's head in place, the waiter would open the skull and the diners eat it while the body wriggled under the table. I didn't know this museum was gonna be this traumatizing to be aged. They're actually like eating and li living in there. This is the Casu Marsu from Sardinia, Italy. It's a pecorino cheese. They make the flies fly in there and lay eggs so the larvae feasts on the cheese. Their enzyme enzymes break down the fats in the cheese and then the larvae excrement is a partially digested semi-liquid soft cheese. This is a cheese infested by mites. I don't see the move though, it just looks like crumbles. <gasps> <laughs> Meat grown in a petri dish. Does it smell? Maybe smell, no. not touch. Oh, baby, not the guinea pig. Woohoo, it's flying. <laughs> guinea Daddy. pigs were my first animals, my first pets. I had two. Their names were Yogi and Winky. Yogi and Winky. My two little babies. Guinea pig, please smell so bad. Who the rana? Concentrado y extracto de rana maja. Oh, we can smell something. To eat the most toxic meat of the Greenland shark, Icelanders first let it rot in the ground. It is then hung to dry. Small cubes of the white rubbery delicacy are served on toothpicks and washed down with black death. Ah, uh, aquavit! We just drank aquavit in the bar yesterday. You and me. Hey, <laughs> Oh no, my camera woman quit. Das hat mir gar nicht gut gefallen. It's bleach. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit, but not good bleach. Not the good kind of bleach, if you know what I'm saying. Let's dry it like that girl. Oh yes, <laughs> Vegemite. Do you like Vegemite? Comment down below. I actually like that we have this here because like who the fuck even knows what's in there? Like it could literally be cancer in these things and we still eat it. Can you do a trying all Pop-Tarts flavors? Video. This is comfort food and it's made from candy flavored gelatin. It was especially popular amongst members of the Mormon church. The various recipes include ingredients such as tomato soup, mayonnaise, cream cheese, vegetables, sausage, olives, or anything else that may look super good suspended in the colorful jelly. This <laughs> is so random. I mean, it kind of looks cute though. I have to give it to the Mormons. It's over. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Kit Kat. Can you do a trying all Kit Kat flavors? I prefer pop. Yes, one, 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 low, fashion, fashion, low, low, <gasps> business. It's musk sticks. Oh, it's musk. Elon. No, do you not know what musk is? No. Back in time, like, it was made from the musk of musk animals. And like, it got scraped out of their musk area, which is something like the genitals. Man, I'm just gonna read it. Even though modern day musk stick candy is made from synthetic musk, it was originally derived from the glandular sec secretions of the male musk deer. That's what I meant. Kit Kat. Oh, wasabi Kit Kat. I've had this before. Really? When? A couple of years ago. Why? Wer hat dir das gegeben? Felix. Who is Felix? <laughs> it's his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Felix. <laughs> Does he watch my videos? Yeah. Huh? Don't you wish that you could be a fly on a plate? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Thank you. In Eastern Africa, they eat kunga cake, which is apparently made from mosquito flies, mosquito-like flies called midges. Entire villains, villains, <laughs> entire villages work together to catch the flies. This is done by dampening pots or plates and swinging them in the air through a cloud of fries, uh, flies. <laughs> oh my God. You're the worst reader ever. <laughs> it's just so much pressure reading. Mashed together and formed into patties, the insects are cooked as char called black mosquito burgers. Ah, oh, so they put it in burgers. I actually ate escargot in France and I didn't really like it. And that was the only thing I ordered, oysters and escargot. And I didn't like any of it. And now I was stuck with it and I had to force it all into me. And it was like a horrible experience because it was also a very fancy restaurant. And I had to pretend like I did not just hate it. And they were just like standing next to me the whole time and watching me. And I was like, mm, escargot. <laughs> Mmm, okay, I think we're done here. And now let's just try something because we looked and smelled at a lot of things and now we're gonna try something. Amira's making us food. <gasps> yeah. Um, so we have a bit of a challenge going on. If you try everything, you can put your name on the Hall of Fame. I mean, I've tried Grasshopper before. Will noch jemand? I'm good. Yeah? 
I'm gonna do the challenge and I'm gonna try everything. But can we like actually like get all of these names off before I write my own on it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> she just said sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's buffalo worms. Nice. Oops. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> it started off okay, but then the aftertaste. It tastes like very strongly spiced wood. Wood? Yeah. I'm gonna try the next one. They're unseasoned, so. <laughs> I can taste that. <laughs> I mean, these are just dried or fried? Freeze-dried, yes. So right here we have the crickets. I don't like the taste. It tastes like... I can't describe any of this. No, you're so bad. Maybe like very strong cheese, mm. but not good cheese. I would recommend that you remove the wings. Where do I put them? This is the grasshopper, but I removed the wings. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like old walnuts, maybe. If I eat this again, I would prefer to eat it with like pan fried with soy sauce or something. This whole like unseasoned thing is not giving me anything. <laughs> so this is a super worm. It's from Thailand and super. it's roasted, so it has a bit of a smoky bit of flavor. Oh, it's roasted. Mmm, delicious. It just tastes like I'm eating a burnt piece of wood. But I think it's actually the best one out of everything I tried. It's like itchy on my tongue. It leaves like a weird feeling. It almost feels like it's like a little numb. Yeah, this is the June bug and it's the last bug of the day. So sad. Ooh. Oh, it tastes like something I've tried before. This tastes like nuts. For me, this is the one that doesn't taste like nuts. <laughs> I like this one the best. The school class is here. I just have to wait until they're done. I'm wearing pants, bitch you thought. Okay guys, next we're gonna try salt licorice. Salty licorice from Iceland. Um, it's covered in sea salt, so it's Ooh. really intense. It kind of burns on your tongue. I want, I want. It actually burns like when you get it on your tongue. That like candy in our country. Oh, like candy. you're from Iceland. We are from Denmark. We eat. Uh, isn't Denmark like the like like, licorice place? My, you I like it? That's what I eat to a movie on a Friday. Do you eat the whole thing? Yeah, it's like then it's like like a bag of candy. She's a badass. Yeah, maybe it's something for Vincent actually. Does it taste good? It's fun. Maybe you should go to Denmark right now. I know durian. I've tried durian. I like durian, but we're still gonna try it for the sake of trying it. I've eaten better ones. <laughs> no offense to okay. this museum, but... <laughs> Next one is Sukaru. It's the goat cheese. Mm. It's fermented in the stomach of the baby goat. Mm. I mean, I love goat cheese. Here it is. I have in It's the stomach, yeah. <laughs> Den fand ich gar nicht lecker. Tastes like Parmesan with vomit. Yeah, it has something vomity. I think it actually was something like in my top three of worst foods I've ever tried in my whole life. So this is Sauerkraut Saft. Sauerkraut is from Germany. It is some kind of cabbage and it's a little sour. Sour cabbage. Yummy. It's like the juice you have when you eat sauerkraut. It's like if you would squeeze it. You can continue with shalgam suyu. It's the Turkish vegetable juice. That's the one where I said I think it's gonna taste good. <laughs> it's just so spicy. I don't want to drink drinks that are spicy. I just tasted pepper and spiciness. Okay, so here we have Vegemite and Marmite. The yeast bread people put on their toast in the morning. If you try it with toast, it's actually not that bad. I can get behind this. It's so salty and so rich. I kind of like it. It is very umami. I tried both of it before, but never like right after another. So I don't know if it actually tastes different. I will find out now. <laughs> I actually like Vegemite better. <laughs> Sorry, UK, but the Aussies is where it's at. This is a Berlin uh, liquor. They produce it here. The main ingredients are cumin, fennel, anise, and lemon. Why am I drinking alcohol? That sounds like something I would like. Actually, yes. <laughs> for one for Vincent. <laughs> no! This tastes like something you would like. Yeah, without the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I can Next feel it. <laughs> Next one is Mampe Bitter Drops. Oh, that sounds but nice, though. You're gonna be drunk. Wasted. 
It's the most disgusting thing I've ever tried in my life. It was really good. <laughs> mm. The first one, it's like lemonade compared to this one. But now I'm really drunk. <laughs> hey. Sorry, Gabi, if that's your name. Shout out to Gabi, but like, I need my space. This is a broccoli. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Thanks. Now let's get some hot sauce up in this bitch. Oh, this is not so spicy. It starts with 50,000 scoville and it develops to 700. <laughs> I hate the roasted feeling. I think you will like the <laughs> next one more. It's with the spiciest chili in the world, the Carolina Reaper. Cheers. Girl, there is a little bit of a difference. Oh. <laughs> How can you say there's not a lot of difference? Are you good? <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> okay, give me the next one. The next one you're also gonna try. I'm already dying from the one before, so I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I'm forcing my camera team to eat it with me. Let's go. That can be felt. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, can I have milk, please? I need milk aboard. <laughs> Girl, fast. How do you not die? <laughs> Just so tasty. I'm crying my lashes off. That's the new laughing my ass off. I can give you some salt and licorice. That <laughs> kind of distracts me. <laughs> <laughs> this was a lot for me personally. It's the bomb for me. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. I thought I was gonna carry that shit, but the hot sauce carried me. Let me know what you think of this museum. I think the whole experience was very interesting because they displayed a lot of food and also told you a lot about the history of the food in English and in German. But I think what I struggled the most with is the name Disgusting Food Museum because a lot of these foods might actually not be disgusting from the country, town, city, wherever they're from. Like a lot of this food was probably just a part of someone's culture and I think I think it's a bit tricky to display this in a disgusting food museum. I think they would literally be fine if they would just rename the museum into interesting food museum or crazy food museum, but disgusting is just very because I just know a lot of cultures already have to fight all these stigmas and prejudices around their food and their culture. But yeah, that's the only thing that I could advice to this museum, just change your name. The other thing which I didn't like was that they displayed these kind of graphic videos. I know it's like actually a good thing to raise awareness about some of these techniques and some of these foods, which are very cruel, but I think it's just, I didn't expect it. Like I didn't know that was gonna happen and it's just like without warning, like happening straight into your face. I know that Vincent definitely had a problem with that. So I think other people might also have a problem with that. Anyway, that was this video. Let me know if I should do more of these kinds of videos. Do you like it when I just like go out and try stuff. And a quick little thing. Do you remember these babies? If you don't, you probably missed that I even released perfumes, which is really a pity because these are Bite Me and Kiss Me. And they are currently restocked everywhere on Perfume Dreams, on DM, on Rossmann, everywhere in store and online. So if you wanna get them, maybe do it now. Mm -hmm. And that was it from me today. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.